Get the latest associate cloud engineer dumps for your preparation of Google Cloud Certified. Associate Cloud Engineer Exam. You can practice real questions and answers from actual tests so that you can easily pass your Associate Cloud Engineer Exam successfully in your first attempt. Question 1. You want to select and configure a cost-effective solution for relational data on Google Cloud Platform. You are working with a small set of operational data in one geographic location. You need to support point-in-time recovery. What should you do? A. Select Cloud SQL, MySQL. Verify that the Enable Binary Logging option is selected. B. Select Cloud SQL, MySQL. Select the Create Failover Replicas option. C. Select Cloud Spanner. Set up your instance with two nodes. D. Select Cloud Spanner. Set up your instance as multi-regional. Answer. A. Question 2. You are using multiple configurations for gCloud. You want to review the configured Kubernetes engine cluster of an inactive configuration using the fewest possible steps. What should you do? A. Use gCloud config configurations described to review the output. B. Use gCloud config configurations activate and gCloud config list to review the output. C. Use kubectl config get contexts to review the output. D. Use kubectl config use context and kubectl config view to review the output. Answer. D. Question 3. Your company uses cloud storage to store application backup files for disaster recovery purposes. You want to follow Google's recommended practices. Which storage option should you use? A. Multi-regional storage B. Regional storage C. Nearline storage D. Coldline storage Answer. D. Question 4. Several employees at your company have been creating projects with Cloud Platform and paying for it with their personal credit cards, which the company reimburses. The company wants to centralize all these projects under a single, new billing account. What should you do? A. Contact cloud-billing at google.com with your bank account details and request a corporate billing account for your company. B. Create a ticket with Google support and wait for their call to share your credit card details over the phone. C. In the Google Platform Console, go to the Resource Manage and move all projects to the root organization. D. In the Google Cloud Platform Console, create a new billing account and set up a payment method. Answer. C. Question 5. You are deploying an application to App Engine. You want the number of instances to scale based on request rate. You need at least three unoccupied instances at all times. Which scaling type should you use? A. Manual scaling with three instances. B. Basic scaling with min underscore instances set to three. C. Basic scaling with max underscore instances set to three. D. Automatic scaling with min underscore idle underscore instances set to three. Answer. D. Question 6. You have a development project with appropriate IAM roles defined. 
You are creating a production project and want to have the same I am roles on the new project, using the fewest possible steps. What should you do? A. Use gcloud I am roles copy and specify the production project as the destination project. B. Use gcloud I am roles copy and specify your organization as the destination organization. C. In the Google Cloud Platform Console, use the Create Role from Role functionality. D. In the Google Cloud Platform Console, use the Create Role functionality and select all applicable permissions. Answer. A. Question 7. You need a dynamic way of provisioning VMs on Compute Engine. The exact specifications will be in a dedicated configuration file. You want to follow Google's recommended practices. Which method should you use? A. Deployment Manager B. Cloud Composer C. Managed Instance Group D. Unmanaged instance group. Answer. A. Question 8. You have a Docker file that you need to deploy on Kubernetes engine. What should you do? A. Use Kubectl app deploy. B. Use gcloud app deploy. C. Create a Docker image from the Docker file and upload it to container registry. Create a deployment YAML file to point to that image. Use Kubectl to create the deployment with that file. D. Create a Docker image from the Docker file and upload it to cloud storage. Create a deployment YAML file to point to that image. Use Kubectl to create the deployment with that file. Answer. C. Question 9. Your development team needs a new Jenkins server for their project. You need to deploy the server using the fewest steps possible. What should you do? A. Download and deploy the Jenkins Java War to App Engine standard. B. Create a new Compute Engine instance and install Jenkins through the command line interface. C. Create a Kubernetes cluster on Compute Engine and create a deployment with the Jenkins Docker image. D. Use GCP Marketplace to launch the Jenkins solution. Answer. D. Question 10. You are analyzing Google Cloud Platform service costs from three separate projects. You want to use this information to create service cost estimates by service type, daily and monthly, for the next six months using standard query syntax. What should you do? A. Export your bill to a cloud storage bucket, and then import into cloud bigtable for analysis. B. Export your bill to a cloud storage bucket and then import into Google Sheets for analysis. C. Export your transactions to a local file, and perform analysis with a desktop tool. D. Export your bill to a BigQuery dataset, and then write time window-based SQL queries for analysis. Answer. D.